large airplanes have always been the biggest dream of China's aviation industry. The pain of transporting white and halfway through was vividly remembered, which directly pushed back the dream of large airplanes for 20 years. With the appearance of the Y-20 large transport aircraft, the strategic transportation capacity has risen sharply, but the core engine uses the Russian-made D-30KP-2. The limited power of the small diameter restricts the further expansion of the Y-20's performance. Then, the WS-20 engine that everyone is looking forward to once again becomes a dream. Compared with the difficult and almost unattainable scientific research capabilities of the past, what is lacking now is only time and experience. This is an edited picture by the people, this should be everyone ideal big engine with Y-20. However, a photo of Y-20 with a big engine actually installed recently appeared. A yellow painted Y-20, two large diameter engines under the side wings are obviously different, and they are stronger than the surrounding engines. From the external appearance, it should be the WS-20 turbofan engine with large bypass ratio specially developed for Y-20. From the painting, this model is already in mass production. We refer to the previous rumors and call this model Y-20B. After the replacement of the domestically made large bypass ratio engine, the voyage and payload problems of more than 20 years have been restricted, which can be completely solved. Looking back at the China Air Force's transport strength before the Y-20, there have been only Y-8 and Y-9 tactical transport aircraft for a long time. In terms of performance, they are inherently insufficient in range and load capacity and cannot meet strategic needs. Moreover, after in 2000, because the sign of Israeli ELM 2075 project was blocked by the United States, the second-hand Il-76 was purchased from Russia get stood up. Of course, things that are restricted by others cannot be done. This has resulted in a 200-ton Y-20's rapid development. In order to realize the rapid prototyping of Y-20, the aerodynamic structure of Il-76 and C-17 was used for reference based on the existing conditions. And the conventional aerodynamic layout was adopted, cantilever upper single wing, leading edge swept back, wingless winglet, etc. for the aviation industry, which has greatly improved scientific research capabilities, the aerodynamic shape is not a problem, but the matching engine is a headache. Since there is no domestically made corresponding high thrust engine to choose from, the only choice is the Russian made mature D 30K P2 turbofan engine. For now, although the Y 20 has entered service in batches, and the number of front and rear may exceed 50, the engine problem still needs to be solved urgently. After all, there are still aerial refueling types and large scale equipment transportation types that are still waiting for use. The Russian-made D-30K P-2 turbofan engine was developed in the 1970s. Although it is very mature, the maximum thrust of a single unit is only 12 tons. Compared with the General Electric CF680C2 used in the Japanese C-2, the thrust is not even up to this. The engine is half of 27 tons, and the fuel consumption also affects performance. Fortunately, the aerodynamic layout and body design of the Y-20 have been optimized in the aviation industry. Although the engine is not very powerful, it can still be used barely. The Y-20 is designed with a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons and a maximum payload of 66 tons. In fact, the maximum load may be around 50 tons due to the lack of power from the engine, which is barely more than 47 tons of the IL-76 due to the shortcomings of the engine. The Y-20 failed to be successful in the true sense, and mass production of the Russian engine was a helpless transition. In order to achieve the original design goal, almost synchronized with the development of the Y-20 as early as 2014, the WS-20 was found to be installed on the IL-76 for testing. The size of the two engines is different and the shape of the pylon has also changed a lot. The pylon structure of the IL-76 test platform has been strengthened and extended longer. And the purpose is to prepare for the installation of a larger diameter and more powerful engine. 
the IL-76 flight test platform with WS-20 installed. It is obvious that the pylon looks larger and longer, and the engine size is completely different from the three surrounding ones. After static tests, flight tests, and years of meticulous construction, the test flight of WS-20 on the IL-76 platform has long been over. In 2017, the Y-20B static testing machine appeared on the Internet. It can also be understood that the WS-20 completed the preliminary test work and began to prepare for mass production. The benefit of installing a large engine is not only to increase the range and load, the performance improvement can produce a greater platform effect, such as changing to aerial tankers and heavy equipment transport aircraft. In the future, the Strategic Air Force must be equipped with high-performance aerial tankers as standard equipment. Take the reissued Y-20B refueling tanker as an example. When the aerial refueling radius is 1,000 km, the maximum fuel supply is about 90 tons. When the air refueling radius is 2,000 km, the maximum fuel supply is about 70 tons, and even when the refueling radius is 3,500 km, it can maintain 40 tons of fuel supply. For the long-range training and combat use of the three swordsmen in the air, the J-10, J-16, and J-20 can be easily satisfied, at least several times higher than the previous 70-ton H-6. The benefits of the replacement are also reflected in the strong strategic delivery capabilities. Since the load range is increased by 15 to 20 percent compared with the prototype, the goal of maximum load of 66 tons has been achieved. For the domestically produced Type 99 a main battle tank, the total weight of 58 tons can be carried on a single plane, and it can carry the king of land warfare to 5,000 kilometers away. The Y-20 with WS-20 engine turbofan will allow the Chinese army to fly higher and farther, 